Are you looking for more affordable housing in Las Vegas that's still close to outdoor activities and amenities? Then I think Thule Springs is right for you. Hi, Catherine with the Thomas Group and Real Broker, your local Las Vegas and Henderson Realtors. Today I am in Thule Springs. Now I am going to show you not one, but two neighborhoods today. The first is Thule Springs, which is closer to Centennial Hills and Sky Canyon. Now this has been around for quite a while with some older homes and horse properties, but more developments did start in the early 2000s. Now the Villages at Thule Springs is your new build community development starting in 2017 and is closer to El Dorado and Aliante. Now both of them are great spots to choose from, but what's the difference? Other than location, like I said, you have older homes and newly built but still resales in Thule Springs and the villages at Thule Springs, you're going to get new build options. Now they are trying to make it a lot more like Summerlin and Henderson with the master plan and the amenities, but without the pricing. And the villages at Thule Springs is going to have three phases. Its first one is almost complete and sold out. But if you want to get in at a great price, now is the time to do it. First of all, before building costs go up, but also some of these great closeout communities in the Thule Springs at the Villages Phase 1. So we are just about as far north as you can get in Las Vegas. Now there's new builds popping up every day, so that might not be true for long but it is so quiet and so serene up here right now. And there's houses right next to me. I absolutely love this mountain view and it is quite a warm day here in Las Vegas, but with this breeze, I can't wait to come back and bring my little puppy, although I'll probably have to carry her most of the way, to come back and do this loop. It's just over three miles round trip. Great way to see some mountains, get out in the outdoors and really explore some of the outdoor activities that Las Vegas has to offer. Mammoths, camels, lions, oh my. These are just some of the animals that used to roam around right here. I am at Thule Springs Fossil Beds National Monument. Now, those are just a few of the animals that used to roam here up to 200,000 years ago. But now you can come walk around at their trailheads here. I am at the location at Mount Moonlit Falls Avenue and Aliante Parkway. There is another spot where you can enter the monument and check out where these animals used to roam. Now, this is really close to Thule Springs, but also the villages at Thule Springs near the Eglinton Preserve is going to have a fossil bed location where you can access this right here. The Villages at Thule Springs is actually just east of Thule Springs, and when completed, there will be three phases. Now, they do have different stages of life in mind here, and the Village of Phase 3 is going to be close to Thule Springs Fossil Bed National Monument, like I mentioned, and it is close to Nellis Air Force Base, Creech, and the VA Hospital. Meaning that if you wanted to live off of base, you still are so super close to the Air Force Base. Now the builders here are TriPoint, KB, and Lennar. TriPoint is actually closed out right now and the other ones are getting closed out quickly. So if you want a new build in this area, you should definitely jump on it quick. Now they do have townhomes like right here and there are single family options to choose from as well. The median home price right now is around 462,000, but there are a little bit more affordable options as well. Thule Springs and the villages at Thule Springs both have numerous shopping and restaurant options. They're both close to Target, which is super important, and Costco. And one of my favorites, Juan's Flaming Fajitas. You've got to try their fajitas and their margarita if you want authentic Mexican cuisine. Thule Springs has a lot of different home options for you to choose from from properties that have been here for quite a while on acre plus lots that are zoned for horses, 
all the way to modern contemporary homes that are still being built behind me. Now development and project areas were started in the 2000s here and they will have some HOA fees. You also have gated and non-gated properties and don't be surprised if you see someone riding their horse along the streets here. Like I said, you have quite a few horse zoned properties, whether they're a little bit older or some newer built custom estates. <laughs> Parks in the area will include Aliante Discovery Nature Park, Sea Strand Park, which we're in right now, and Floyd Lamb State Park. Now, as you can see, there's walking trails, picnic tables with some charcoal grills, and some covered shaded areas. There is someone with a dog here right now too. Also in the area are Gilcrease Orchards. They're open Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday right now from 7 to 10 a.m. You can go pick your own produce or purchase stuff that they have there already. And in the fall, they have an amazing pumpkin patch. Also close by is the farm where you can interact with live farm animals. Who thought you would get to do that in the desert? Thanks so much for checking out Thule Springs and the villages at Thule Springs with me. Now, if you want more information on comparing either of those neighborhoods or comparing these neighborhoods with other ones, please reach out. And if you want more information on the villages at Thule Spring New Builds, I can definitely help you out with that as well. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all things Las Vegas with the Thomas Group. Reach out for your free consultation as well, either at our number below. My name's Catherine, I'm extension six, or our website, thethomasgrouplv.com. Thanks so much.